Good evening, you're watching Just the News. I'm Amata Balachandra. We start off with our top story of the day. Author Salman Rushdie is on a ventilator after he was stabbed in the abdomen and the neck at an event in western New York state. Now, the police has arrested a man from the scene and identified him as 24-year-old uh, Hadi Matar of New Jersey. Now, um, Mr. Rushdie's agent has told the Associated Press that the writer was on a ventilator with damage to his liver and nerves in an arm. Uh, the moderator at the event, 73-year-old Henry Rees, was also attacked and suffered a minor head injury. Now, writers and politicians across the world have condemned the attack and dubbed it as an assault on freedom of expression. Uh, his novel, Midnight's Children, had won the Booker Prize in 1981. But the most controversial uh, novel uh, has been The Satanic Verses, which was published in 1988. Several people consider it to be blasphemous. Uh, in fact, India was the first country to ban it. Pakistan followed suit and uh, as did several other Muslim countries and South Africa as well. Now, the author currently lives in the United States and had been uh, living under police protection uh, for many years because of uh, death threats uh, to his life. Moving on from the story now on what's going on in India, as far as the monkeypox case is concerned, Delhi has reported its fifth monkeypox case. A 22-year-old African woman uh, has tested positive for monkeypox in Delhi. She had travelled to Nigeria a month ago and is currently admitted to LNJP hospital. Now, four people, including two women, are admitted to the LNJP hospital. Uh, with monkeypox while well, one patient was discharged from the facility with this india's total tally has now gone up to 10. also uh, the lieutenant governor of german kashmir manoj sinha has dismissed the services of four government uh, employees uh, including terror accused billa katare's wife um, aspa khan and uh, syed uh, salahuddin's son for having terror links. Now, uh, Syed Abdul Ma uh, Muid, uh, son of self-styled Supreme Commander of Hezbollah Muj Mujahideen, uh, has also been dismissed. According to the government, Aspa Khan uh, was dismissed as during investigations done by the Union Territory Administration. It came to light that she was a secessionist and uh, had deep ties uh, with terrorist outfits and Pakistani intelligence agency ISI as well. Meanwhile, in Mumbai, former NCB Mumbai Zonal Director Samid Bankade has been cleared uh, of allegations that he submitted a fake caste certificate. He was the main officer in the Aryan Khan case. Uh, now, NCB leader Nawab Malik had accused Bankade of using a fake certificate to get a government job. Applications were filed by the complainants, including political leaders Manoj Sansare, Ashok Kamble and Sanjay Kamble against Bankade. Now, Mumbai District Caste Certificate Verification Committee has said that it was not proven that Vankade and his father renounced Hinduism and duly converted to Islam. Meanwhile, in Bihar, according to a senior police official, at least seven people have died in the last three days, allegedly after consuming illicit liquor in Bihar Saran district. Now, a similar incident was reported in Gujarat as well. At least 42 people were dead in the Gujarat Hooch tragedy. Uh, sale and consumption of liquor is banned in Bihar as well as Gujarat. News coming in from Punjab. The mask mandate in Punjab has come back again. Uh, remember earlier, Delhi had made masks compulsory as well amid rising COVID cases. The same has come in, in Mumbai, where uh, the government has said that um, in all educational institutions, government and private offices and indoor and outdoor gatherings, malls, public places, etc., masks are now compulsory. The Punjab government has also issued a notification for allowing pension uh, for MLAs for just one term. Now, this new rule deviated from the older terms where uh, norms when uh, legislators uh, would get pensions for supplementary terms as well. Now, with the implementation of the bill, each MLA will get only one pension of 75,150 rupees per month irrespective of the terms for which he is elected. Earlier, former MLAs uh, would get pensions as high as 3 lakh rupees per month. Now, according to Indian Express, this decision is likely to save the state exchequer around 19.53 crore rupees. 
also in the news a uh, megaluru male go first flight made an emergency landing at the coimbatore airport on friday after a faulty smoke alarm rang off now the plane was carrying 92 uh, passengers but it landed safely according to pti the uh, alarm went off after the twin engines allegedly overheated uh, this is the fourth such incident in a month where in a go first flight has reported a technical issue now according to the data from the civil aviation regulator the country has reported over 6 uh, 460 i beg your pardon 460 technical malfunctions in just over a year also according to ani external affairs minister s jay shankar has said that relations between india and china uh, cannot be normal unless there is peace in the border areas now the minister said that the situation remains unresolved in spite of 16 rounds of commander level talks having taken place on the subject of uh, chinese disengagement along the line of actual control now uh, this is what he said and i quote uh, the indian army has been holding its ground for the past two winters which shows our resolve on standing our ground we have made some substantial progress in terms of troops pulling back from places where they were very close there are still some places where they have not end quote on to environment news right now official drought has been declared in parts of southern central and the east of england now millions of people are uh, facing hose pipe uh, bans as low water levels and tinder dry uh, conditions continue across uh, the uk now this comes after heat waves and record breaking high temperatures have depleted water reserves one piece of good news coming in uh, before we wrap things up here on this bulletin nasa has decided to enroll an indian origin woman athira preeta rani on its um, astronaut training program this is according to a report by india today uh, which says that she is canada based uh, space entrepreneur uh, who hails from tiruvananthapuram now after kalpana chawla and sunita williams rani is set to become the third indian origin female astronaut to embark uh, on a journey to space after having secured a position with the us space agency's program that brings us to the end of this bulletin thank you so much for watching